This is our 38th year for the uh, convention. We have 45 contestants from 14 foreign countries and 24 states. I always like to say that, you know, I wanted to be best in the world at something. Two years ago, at the International Whistlers Convention in Lewisburg, North Carolina, Luke Jansen, who had never competed there before, was crowned the grand champion of whistling. They had a competition in 2010 um, in China, which I would have quite liked to have gone to, but I was having a, a baby daughter, so I, I missed that one. His unusual style, called palate or throat whistling, captivated judges and stunned whistling's old guard. I had the sort of idea that whistling used to once be, once be cool, and I think over the years it's become a bit put on a clown suit and whistle, and one day maybe, uh, maybe I, could, I could make it cool again. Now, after taking a year off, he's going back to North Carolina to regain his title. But this time, he confronts new judges and will face stiff competition, including from a fellow New Yorker. I've done the Today Show twice, I've done CBS Mor Early Morning three times, I've done Fox and Friends, and my name is Steve Herbst, and professionally I'm known as Steve the Whistler Herbst. Uh, I um, turned professional in 1995 when I was on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee. I was born in New York City, um, and I've lived in Manhattan now for uh, 33 years. I've had people follow me for blocks like a Pied Piper, and we'd get to a stoplight, and um, some people say, uh, I can't believe what I'm hearing, I can't believe my ears. You know, 2011, I'm going down not having competed for two years. I mean, look, I would love to win. You can't take it for granted that just because you're an old hand that, you know, you've got a big edge on anybody. So most people, when they whistle, whistle, you know, have a, what, what they call a pucker style of whistling. So they'll put their lips together and, and blow. Um, I'll make the sound with my tongue in the roof of my mouth. So you have all the rest of your mouth to manipulate, you know, the, the sound. So if you whistle inside your mouth like this, you can use your, your lips to make it sound like this. Because they're allowing me to whistle in that way, I've got a little bit of an advantage, I think, over the, over the traditional whistlers. So I'm, I'm hoping that as long as I don't you know, mess anything up, I should prevail. With both women's and men's divisions, whistlers compete in a preliminary round, performing one classical and one pop song. I think it's important to go out there as a woman and really showcase what whistling can do. Not only that, I'm a very powerful whistler, so that kind of, I think, is sort of an extra statement of saying, like, hey, I'm a woman, and I'm not delicate, I'm here, I'm making a statement, and I've got music for you. The judges, you know, are all classically trained, so, you know, for them it's important that you get the notes right and that they're in tune and that the tone is right. I think it sort of depends what the judges feel. My style is sort of, I think, fairly squarely in the new category, and, and a lot of the other sort of contestants, you know, are, are, you know, are slightly older.
There are different uh, techniques, and they're all legitimate. But historically, pucker style has always you know, been the one that was favored by judges. I'm using pieces that I'm, you know, that I've done, that I'm comfortable with for the preliminary round and saving things that I haven't done in a long time or even new stuff for uh, the finals. After the preliminary rounds, both Luke Jansen and Steve Herbst advanced to the finals along with five others. Final classical, I'm doing Swan Lake, and then I pulled out the big guns for the last pop song, and I thought I'd do Stairway to Heaven. Okay, next up, we also have from New York, Mr. Luke Jansen, who will be doing a Led Zeppelin piece entitled Stairway to Heaven. Mr. Luke Jansen from New York. The audience reaction was good. A bunch of people standing up and clapping and wife was in tears. So, uh, quietly confident. It's going to be very, very close race. That throw twist lane is something special. Somebody likes it, somebody didn't, don't like it. And now for our 2011 Adult International Grand Champions in the male category. In third place, Mr. Luke Jansen. This year, after final judging, new did not win out over old. Luke Jansen placed third overall, and Steve Herbst, for the first time in his career, went home empty-handed. Maybe, uh, maybe it's time to become a judge. <laughs> the only reason I can think, honestly, that I didn't win is because one or more of the judges thought it's not purist enough and marked me down. I won in 2009, and both my pieces this year were, were better by a margin, you know, by, by some margin. So there must have been something, something up. <laughs>